Yeah, words, okay? So when we um, verbally abuse someone, you might be like, oh, you're stupid, okay? That's verbally uh, abusing someone. So uh, what does this, what does this say? 10 times eight, and so that's what you need to write, 10 times eight, okay? Not 10, you need to spell it out, 10 times eight. Okay, what about the next one? Okay, plus 11. Okay, third one. Well, fit number five for me, but 12 plus eight. Okay, that's pretty easy. Nothing crazy. Um, look at uh, 10. How do you say that? Three squared. three squared, or what's squared mean? Yeah, you can say three to the power of two. Okay, uh, three times three. Okay, three. Times itself, okay, any of those work, okay? Okay, so we got 12 plus 8, 20 minus y. I don't care if you say plus, addition, uh, more than, okay, same thing with subtraction. You can say um, take away, less than, what have you, okay? I'm not like too picky on the words. Okay, and then six plus nine. Okay, so those ones are fairly easy. You just need to know the difference between, I guess, uh, how to write it algebraically and verbally, okay? The bottom part is what I really wanna focus on today, okay? So we're evaluating, and we talked yesterday about what does evaluate mean? To solve, you should have a single number for an answer. Okay, the only difference is uh, this says evaluate each using the given value. So we're working with variables and variables in math essentially means letters, okay? So we're taking, they tell you what the letters are and essentially need to plug it in. So right here, this part is the equation, I would say, or the expression, okay? And then they tell you that X equals six and Y equals three. So everywhere there's an X, you should be putting what? Six. And everywhere there's a Y, you should be putting in three. three. And so, and after that, you're just going to be using your order of operations, okay? If there's parentheses, do that first. If there's exponents, do that next. So, our first part is um, an X. And so, we're going to put a six there, okay? And then we have a plus sign, so we're going to drop that down. And then we have another X, so we're going to put what there? Six. And then we have a minus sign, and then we have a Y, which is going to be 3. All right? Yeah. No, I'm not hot, but I spent so long down on the other guy's room. But... I mean, let's be a little warm, because you know me, I always have a sweatshirt on. Okay, 6 plus 6 minus 3. Huh? Nine. Okay, so six plus six is 12 minus three. Yeah, okay. So evaluate means you should have a single number for an answer, and we do. Now, whether that number's right or wrong, uh, I can't tell you, but um, you have a single number for an answer, so you got a good idea, I guess. Okay, flip it over. Thirteen. What is our Z? Five. So we got five minus five divided by five. Okay, what needs done first? 
the division, okay? So if you're going down the list, there's no, <clears throat> there's no parentheses, there's no exponents, there's no times, division. So we do our division first. So five divided by five is gonna be one. So for this part, you're gonna get one. And you're gonna drop this five and that plus sign down. Okay, so five minus one. Huh? It's four. So five minus one. Otherwise it would be negative five. Yeah. It's okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Eight, whatever. Okay, 15. I got x plus y plus y. What is x? Six, Six plus what? One plus one. What's six plus one plus one? Eight. Eight. <clears throat> okay, 17. We're gonna get one plus what? Two. Two minus one. What's one plus two? Three. Three minus one? Two. Two, perfect. Okay, 19. What are we gonna start off with? One plus Four minus one squared. What needs done first? The exponent. What is one squared? One. So you're gonna get one plus four minus one. What's one plus four? Five minus one. Four. Perfect. Okay, 21. What are we starting with? Five minus three minus parenthesis, three minus three. Okay, and yes, we gotta start with the parentheses first. So three minus three, zero. So you're gonna have five minus three minus zero. And what are you going to get? Two. Two. Perfect. Guys, if you don't have a pencil, there's some always back there. You're more than welcome to take them. They're free. Okay. Don't wait. And I just did the whole sheet and you just sat there. That's stupid. We got all these free answers for nothing. Okay. Uh, 23. We got 2 parentheses 5 divided by 5 plus 2. Okay. What needs done first? The parentheses. Okay, so now, once you work your way in the parentheses, you also have to start back over on the list. Is there parentheses within the parentheses? No. no. Is there exponents? Yes. I mean, no. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, is there multiplication? No. Division. Yes. So then that needs done first inside the parentheses. Okay, so we got 2, 5 divided by 5 is 1 plus 2. Okay, now what? You're still working inside those parentheses, okay? Um, so we got one plus two, three. Okay, and then what does that mean when something's right next to those parentheses? <clears throat> that means multiply. So two times three is six. Perfect. <clears throat> Okay, 25, we got four times five squared divided by five, right? Did I do that right? Four times five 
Five, sorry. Yep. Okay, so what needs done first? The exponent. The exponent. So five squared is what? 25. Okay, and then what needs done? Four times 25, which is 100. Divided by five. Huh? You sure? Yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Why do you start second guessing yourself? It's last. <laughs> that doesn't mean you second guess yourself, you say yeah. No. Okay, uh, you guys have 13 to do when you get them done. Put it in the box back here for the love of God. Make sure that um, your name is on the paper first and last. Um, and then please keep it up.